Rotating behind me is Jaguar's new XF Sport Brake. Now Jaguar is saying this is the most versatile Jaguar that they've made, which is a bit of a given considering it's the only estate currently available in the range. Don't be fooled by the word Sport Brake. Essentially, it's just Jaguar's fancy word for estate car, and it just means it maintains some of the sporty and handling characteristics of the XF Salute. Jaguar says this car is totally new from the B-pillar back, so that's the pillar just behind the front window. And that means it's got new doors, new windows and a new roof. And the tailgate is made from a lightweight composite material just to keep weight down, so it can match the XF Saloon for driving characteristics. The Sport Brake also gets a few nice handy little features, like when you have a tow bar, it actually activates electronic stability control and traction control systems, which stop the kind of whatever you're towing, snaking the car at the back which is quite a nice advantage to have because this might be something you'd use to tow a caravan or a trailer or something like that. But converting the XF into an estate is all about practicality and it's quite a lot of it. The new design roof means that there's five centimetres extra headroom in the back for the rear passengers. There's also a 550 litre boot which isn't quite on a par with rivals like the BMW 5 Series, Audi A6 and the Mercedes E-Class estate. However, when the seats are folded flat, it's got 1,675 litres of boot space, which is pretty good. Still not as good as the E-Class, but compared to the rivals, it's decent. From launch, there'll be two engines available, the 2.2 diesel and the 3-litre V6 twin-turbo diesel. Now, you'll be able to get it from around November. Prices should start at around £32,000. And to find out more about this car and all the other cars launched at the Geneva Motor Show, log on to which.co.uk forward slash cars.